an epic. So this is like a, another cloud parkour, and it will go between Shambhala all the way to the cube, connecting just like so. Hello guys, I'm Sarah from 190, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd love to show you guys another little neat trick I picked up along the way. This is called the gravity, uh, okay, in last video, scratch that, I did a gravity parkour, I guess you could call it, on the moon. Then it's Sarah from, I'm coming back down. No, it's okay, I've got one lily pad. Uh, I've got one lily pad. There's really not many lily pads on the moon. Uh, it's a bit steep down here, but I'm gonna... Well, Houston, Seraphim, I've just fallen on the moon. Okay. Oh. Need the salt. So you want the lily pad just here? Just push it down? I'm putting lily pads on top of every single one. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, okay, is it... Oh, can I push down now? And make sure I can actually reach them. Oh, cool. Pushing down now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys! I had some issues on the moon, so go check that out. But guys, I've just found a better way of doing it. I was using water, lily pads, and all crazy stuff to get- Okay, yeah. oh. See, that one went all the way in. It did? Do you want me to keep pushing That's it? Right. Oh, okay. So, should I just keep pushing it down then? Like this? this carpet to float and it was very dangerous for my world because I was destroying my world with water I wanted to build a parkour city on my moon without leaving a shadow with carpet but I couldn't because I had to stack carpet on top of carpet to get it to work because I couldn't use water I couldn't use water and I couldn't use lily pads on the moon okay, I'll pull it up now. there's no water on it <laughs> the lily pad stuck so that was really bad but thank god, I was hanging out with Skippy6 the other day. Go check his channel out, guys. Full on shout out to you, Skippy, for uh, showing me how to do this a lot easier than what I was doing it with. So how many more inches? Uh, Houston. How much more should I... So, I would like to finish this parkour today at some point. And now that I have this new epic technique, I want to share it with you guys as well. Because it saved me a lot of hassle. As you can see here, the only way I could do this parkour was by stacking carpet on top of other carpet. And it just looked shite. I didn't like it, guys. Because underneath this carpet here is the moon. And I don't want to cast a shadow. But I want parkour, okay? So I can't use regular blocks for obvious reasons. So, and I can't use water and lily pads because it would destroy the moon. Because it's all carpet. So, Skippy said, well, hey, bruh, why don't you just use roses? And I'm like, what, bro? What? And he's like, yeah, bro, just use roses. And that's all he said. And then he walked away into the darkness. I thought about it for days, and then it occurred to me. Roses. Carpet. Break the block. Are you freaking kidding me? What an epic, epic, epic discovery. So, that is freaking awesome. And I'm very happy with this new technique. And guys, I'm pretty, pretty sure if you like Minecraft as much as I do, then this technique is a must. But as you can see, the carpet, when it touches, updates it. So you cannot, for the same reasons, add on to the parkour once it's finished. So make sure you get all of your parkour blocks exactly where you want them. So the first thing I'm going to do is build parkour using dirt blocks. And I'm going to make it the shape that I want it to be, that I think is more fun for parkour. So I might cut out a block here and there for a gap. And then once I've finished my design, then I'm going to add the roses. And roses are very- On the stick. <laughs> How's that? Look. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> so what do you guys want me to do with this? Easy to find in survival, and so is dirt blocks. And so is carpet, once you get some sheep. So as you can see, this is very possible to do on anyone's map and as you can see I'm pumping out some holes I should say punching out some holes um, pumping has nothing to do with punching physically and then I'm gonna add the carpet on top of every single one of these roses 
and break the blocks underneath and voila. The carpet will stay there indefinitely forever and infinitely as well. And when I break underneath, you can see the moon underneath. So it's all carpet and this is why this is epic. Now I have an epic parkour, beginnings of a parkour city. Which I'm contemplating about, still. And it works perfectly fine and I'm happy with it guys. Freaking awesome. Shout out to Skippy Six Gaming once again. So I'll leave it. The, he's in the VIP section on the side of my channel. Go check out his channel. He's got hundreds and thousands of videos. No, he's got like 400 tutorials. Okay, so they're very handy. In fact, it's helped me get where I am today. So go check them out. And again, guys, I'm also going to make a parkour, a rapid parkour, between the Cube World and Shambhala. This is what I've always wanted to do. I've never been able to do it because it cast huge shadows on my world and I didn't like that. And secondly, uh, I already have rails in the sky casting shadows all over the place, so I didn't want to add to the shadow effect. But now that I don't have to worry about water and lily pads and all that, imagine all that water going down to my earth. It's just not on. But now that this technique exists all of a sudden, I realize that my parkour is going to be freaking epic. So this is like a, another cloud parkour and it will go between Shambhala all the way to the cube. Connecting just like so. This is one of the best, most craziest parkours I've ever seen. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with the world. And also guys, remember, I'm Seraphim190 and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.